Um, so our, our next speaker is uh, uh, Esty uh, uh, Edelstein. And um, switch these over. Oh, we go. Um, uh, so Esty is uh, for the last fifteen years has centered her career around digital transformation um, of a variety of different industries, from uh, the elite programming unit in the Israeli army, telecoms with Verizon, um, and now changing the way that the construction industry measures and manages processes uh, today and for the future. Our true passion is in uh, building products uh, that leverage data to solve real world problems. Uh, she describes herself as a product manager at heart. She's got a BSc degree in computer science, an MBA in marketing, and is currently the director of product management at Versatile, where she's excited to be part of this construction tech revolution. So, uh, Esti, I'll hand uh, I'll hand things over to you, and uh, let you uh, take the floor. Thank you. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah, that's there. That's okay, all. great. See you. Perfect. So, thank you everyone for joining this session. I'm really happy to be here. And I'm also really happy to share with you uh, how we can take an under the hook IoT crane accessory and with the combination of machine learning and AI algorithms, help the construction industry to move forward by just starting to measuring and better control their processes. Um, I don't know how many of you have seen the McKenzie graph that showed uh, the gross value of the different industries. And you can see here that we have the manufacturing in the last 60 years, the agriculture, but you can also see construction that didn't move forward or as expected in the last 60 years. And I guess that construction industry is a very unique industry. It's the only industry that the factory is built upon the product instead of the product being built inside a factory. And today, construction is a very fragmented and unstructured manufacturing process. And this is how we in Versatile approached the construction world. We see it as a manufacturing process. We believe that um, at the end of the day, you can only improve if you are measuring. And today with the technology, the IoT revolution, uh, the AI and machine learning data, you can really get insights really quickly. We have seen, we have seen across our customers, we are working with many of the biggest top 500 contractors in the United States mainly. We see just by using our solution of measuring the processes and the times of installation on the job site, at least 30% on average improvement in the crane cycles time. And we actually also saw in one of our residential projects that planned for a column installation to take 18 minutes to drive it just by measuring to six minutes and actually get a greater improvement. Um, we also see that by measuring and controlling the processes, our customers are able in some cases to demobilize the crane from the job site either ahead of schedule between five to six weeks and sometimes even just being on the schedule as planned is good enough. Um, I do want before sharing with you what are the AI and machine learning methodologies and strategies that we are using and also share with you some of our customer stories uh, to show you a short video uh, that one of our customers, Gil Bain, uh, did on Versatile to better explain how the solution works. So I hope you can see the video. Gil Bain wants to be a leader in innovation. And our relationship with Versatile has allowed us to be on the front edge of new technology in the construction market. I'm Arana Horan. I'm the CEO and very much proud co-founder of Versatile. Construction is really manufacturing and job sites are factories. What if we could non-invasively get the data that we need out to help people control the process? We zoned in on the crane because it's almost like a control tower on 
a busy airport. And by going under the hook, we serve in a very non-intrusive, naturally fitting the workflows. The multi-sensor approach under the hook really tells us the story of the job site. We're here to change sequences of events. I've always been amazed by the leadership and the innovation of the different teams that I've interacted with at Gil Bay. And the team that we serve right now has done incredible things with the data. I can always see the best practices that shine out. When the equipment arrived to the job site, it was just a matter of plug and play. Once the device was raised up, uh, it was all go live from there. Crane view data comes to us on a daily basis based on the work performed the previous day. Uh, the daily digest are a great tool to see how effective we were in the field the previous day and what things we may need to change on the following day. I get a daily email with a, with a digest that tells me right off the bat how um, efficient they were, the utilization percentage, if you know, I'm hoping to see something in the 90s. If I, if I don't, I, I will dig deeper. You know, there's different data that we're able to get so we can see if there's um, any outliers. So we're able to go back and look at the camera footage, decide if this is something that we're possibly going to see over and over again. We're allowed to then plan around that. So I think a combination of getting, getting the data in email form and then watch it real time remotely, it allows me to still be connected to the work. Being as safety conscious as we are, I think having the ability to look right down on top of the connectors you know, the riggers, the guys hooking stuff up on the ground. You see something like that, then you can get something corrected. As a safety director, I'm able to use the information, the data points, and the video from CraneView to identify training needs and best practices, lessons learned that we can utilize on our projects for not only our Gilbane employees, but also our contractors. The data that I'm able to collect is really transforming our ordinary into the extraordinary. Okay, so I hope that video was able to describe shortly what is Versatile is doing. So we have a device that its installation takes a few seconds. We chose the crane because the crane is like a control tower in an airport. It sees almost everything, and it also controls the phase of the project. One of the unique things that we have in our device is that it has multi-sensors, among them image, weight, GPS, barometer, and IMU. Um, I want to talk with you a little bit, going a little bit technical, but in high level, how we are using the multi-sensor approach and the AI and machine learning to actually uh, provide our customers insights that can help them not only uh, improve their processes, but also create a safer environment. So one of the methodologies that we are using is on image recognition is actually object detection. Compared to segmentation, it's a faster algorithm that can be trained faster. And the main benefit of this um, methodology is that it can handle a multi-object environment. And you can see from the picture here that the algorithms actually creates a bounding box around the different objects. Uh, and it also can count the number of objects. Now, with this methodology, one of the disadvantages is that if your object is, for example, uh, rounded, wow. you get into the bounding box a lot of noise. For example, you can see here on the red box that you, you also capture the concrete. But using this methodology, we're able to identify the low types, the accessories, whether people are wearing safety equipment, PPE in the construction world. We are also applying another image recognition methodology named segmentation, which main benefits is that it's going through the pixel level. It's a little bit, let's put it this way, it's less faster than the object detection, but it does give you an accurate uh, recognition of the object to classify it. So you can see here on the picture on the left that the crane actually uh, picks two buckets and that on the purple, we were able to identify a truck. 
And the fact that it's in the pixel level, I don't know if you noticed that on the pink object that we circled, there is a little bit of a yellowish line, which actually uh, it's the detection of the chain. So it's a really, really high resolution to provide more accuracy. So these are the two main methodologies that we are using with image recognition. But I guess that one of the main advantages that allow us to also provide insights close to real time in some cases, it's the fact that we are not using only the image as a data source, but also the weight, the GPS, and the barometer and the IMU. And that's actually allow us to do the processing much more faster and much more smarter. Um, one of the things that we are doing with the multi-sensor approach and what it enables us to provide our customers is, for example, alerts in real time, whether the crane is close to reaching the max capacity that is allowed. You can see in the graph above, it's the weight signals that you can see that sudden drop that actually indicates the almost near miss accidents that caused by unsafe rigging. But using the multi-sensor approach also with the GPS allows us not only to say what was lifted and what was the weight, but also what was the construction process that we are measuring and how much time it took. Um, and that's a huge benefit. And all of that is due to the power of the non-intrusive approach of just the plug and play the device and applying a lot of algorithms, machine learning and AI techniques to provide immediate insights. Um, I wanna, while reviewing quickly and briefly uh, the, the machine learning and AI algorithms we are using, I do wanna share with you some real cases we saw uh, on our customers' construction job sites uh, that are related to safety on the job site. And I guess that when I'm looking at safety, you can analyze and learn in case the accident happened or you know that you had uh, almost near miss, or like the safety director of Gilbane said, they wanna find best practices to share with the organization. Um, we prefer to act in real time to actually prevent the incidents. So we'll talk about how our platform and real cases where the customer used that. But I guess the only grail and what everyone wants is to be proactive and mitigate the risks on the job site in advance. So the first story I wanna share with you, one of our customers, um, it was a residential, 40 story building and he discovered that he got the wrong concrete mix with uh, the wrong strength of mix. And he was really, really concerned that the concrete was poured on a vertical element. The meaning in construction, uh, you have to have the standard of using the right concrete strengths, especially on vertical elements because if not, it makes the building really unstable and unsafe. So what this customer did, he actually went into CraneView, which is our product. He looked for that day, when was the truck delivery? And by using the, the GPS and the images, we were able to quickly show him exactly where the concrete was for. And also using the image recognition, and you can see here on the right side, like the yellow uh, shape that actually indicating the different concrete, concrete that was for on an horizontal element. So this time he was able to analyze, make sure that he keeps building uh, uh, safe. Usually that process would have taken him a few days because he would need to um, take some, some samples, send it to a lab test, and he was able within this, within crane view to do it uh, in a few minutes. The second case I wanna share with you, um, in one of our job sites, we actually have a very uh, engaged safety director that used our live stream 
to watch the webs to watch the job site and he noticed that it was an aluminium joist that almost hit a bundle of shorting post while the crane was moving and caused an accident one of the things that he was able to do is of course going into crane view cap watch the video that capture it but not only that he was able to get an analysis that showed him what caused it in a very measurable and accurate way. And in that case, he saw that the rigging time was very, very short compared to the unrigging time. Using our system, he was able even to take a step further and do an analyze and find were there other near and misses that he didn't see. And one of the results, uh, of course, he found more near and misses. He also saw that 88% 80, 80, of the near and misses were performed by crane, uh, the third crane on the job site. He was able to create training material and within two weeks time actually reduced the near misses to almost a zero and actually set also uh, a digest that will show him on a daily basis were there any near and misses. The second stage on safety that we all want to do is at least act, have the option to act in real time. So as I mentioned, um, we have, have the line stream that allows the safety director to see a video, but also like the metadata that the algorithms are using and processing, what is the process, how much time it takes to rig the load type and unrig the load type. So we can always see it in live stream. We also provide different alerts, among them no, no fly zone alert. When the crane is going over a no fly zone, we are able to detect it in real time and alert everyone using SMS or through the system. And also when the crane stopped with load when he was not supposed to stop, which usually also indicates um, a problem in the, in the system or in the job site processes. You can see here, for example, by just having the safety director the option to look and, and uh, detect whether there was a correct use of rigging and whether the workers were wearing a correct um, safety equipment. But again, as I said at the beginning, I truly believe in the proactive approach and that the big benefits about measuring and controlling is to mitigate the risk. And we truly believe in Versatile that the control and the visibility over the job site operation not only increases your productivity, but it also mitigates the safety incidents. And I want to show you like one of our bread and butter basic measurements that we are providing on a daily basis to our customers, and that's the crane utilization. So in one of our job sites, actually in Hawaii, when they just installed crane view, they were able to get the next day what was the crane utilization. And they saw that it was five, 59%, meaning from a day job of eight hours, three hours, the crane was motionless when it was supposed to be working. Just by looking at the number, they were able to improve that uh, the day after, just by being aware. Now, three hours, losing three hours a day for a week job, it's almost two days every week. If they would not be measuring it, they were be missing two days every week, which probably would have drive them to start and pay for overtime and work more hours to hit schedule. So just by simply measuring, they were able to prevent the overtime and actually control the processes um, in their job site. In one of our other customers, uh, I wanna show you also how early detection can reduce the overtime of the workers. Um, and also make sure that the crane is demobilized from the site on time or even before that. Now, crane in the construction world is 
almost one of the top three causes for the most fatal accidents on the job site. So one of the things that happened in this, in this case is that the job site had a, the, the superintendent had a plan to install panels 30 minutes. That's what, what he planned to. On a daily basis, we were able to show him what are the outliers of installation or by load or by day. And the next day he saw that it doesn't take 30 minutes, it's actually take 40 minutes. And after a few days that he saw that it's steady, it's almost always 40 minutes in, instead of 30 minutes, he realized that if he'll continue in this trend, he will have a delay of 70 days in the project. So what he did, he went into crane view, filtered all the outliers, and he was able to see by the video that was captured by crane view and by the measurement and indication that the system showed him that the, the team there on the ground was actually manually torching a steel attachment that wasn't allowing enough tolerance. Uh, what the superintendent did, uh, he just sent a team to fix all the adjustment and the attachments ahead of the installation. And he was actually able to reduce the installation of the panel to 25 minutes and even um, finish on time as he planned. So that is also an example on how early detection can actually mitigate the risk of, again, working more hours that, cause, that we know cause workers fatigue, and also make sure that the crane is um, demobilized on time or earlier. Um, the last case I wanna share with you is uh, from a commercial urban project, uh, a very, very, uh, an, a very high profile project that really cost a lot of money. And the GC, it was very, very important for the general contractor to stay on, on time. So in advance, he decided to put on this job site two cranes because there was some area that required a second crane that the first crane could not reach. After a few weeks, uh, he asked himself whether he really needs the two crane for the time plan, because he started to see that the crane utilization was not always high. You can see in the first graph, the crane one, and in the second graph, the, sec the, sorry, the second crane, and the lines are representing the utilization um, of every hour of every day. One of the things that he was able to do just by measuring is overlapping the working time on true processes like installation of the crane. And what he saw is that usually, even if uh, when, when crane one worked, usually crane two didn't work. And even in times that the two crane worked together, 99% of the time, it wasn't above 100% utilization, meaning if he would speed up now, uh, actually prioritize the work on the area that crane two is working, he will be able to demobilize crane two ahead of time. And by that, he was able to not only save 5% of the crane budget, but he was able also to mitigate the risk of any cranial related accident, but also any overtime or any uncontrolled process hazard that could have caused that. So we can see that with the last three examples, and I have more to share because these stories keep repeating themselves from the different job, job sites, that it always starts with the aha moment of just by measuring and understanding where we stand and controlling the processes that you can actually change the sequence in event and create a safer um, working environment. I really believe that technology job, AI and data is to change those sequence of events 
And I really believe that solutions like Versatiles and other in the construction industry can make a true difference by measuring, controlling the processes and creating a safer environment for the workers um, that are working on the job site. And I truly hope that when we'll meet a year from now or two years from now, I'll be able to show you a different McKinsey graph that shows how the construction industry is doing the next jump by using the data and the IoT technology revolution. Um, I guess that I'm really would be really happy if you have any questions um, to answer those. And I hope you enjoy the session. Thank you, Esty. Thank you. That's really fascinating. Um, would, it, would it be safe to say that you are effectively being able to uh, recognize automatically safe or unsafe behaviors? Yes. So one of the things that the main on construction job sites, one of the main things besides the obvious of no fly zone is really the rigging and the unrigging. So rigging is when you are low, when you are rigging the load type and then lifting it. And using the multi-sensor approach, uh, we're able to, to um, understand that um, close to real time and also provide that information to the safety director in a very accessible way that he can go to the team, share with them the best practices and make sure that they are following the right procedures. And at the end, the job site is a very complex environment. In a job site, you can see between 200 to 1,000 workers every day, and you need to be able to control and manage those processes while keeping them safe. Yep. Okay, good. Um, so let me open it up to anyone else then. Uh, any comments or questions for Esty on, on what she's uh, showing here? It's fascinating stuff. Anyone might like to pick up on anything? I'd be particularly interested to hear if anyone sees the whole sort of concept as being transferable from obviously a, a, a crane type environment into another environment. You see that uh, see that connection. Well, yeah, yeah, yes, Jason. Sorry, go on, go on, Jason. Yeah, the one one transferable thing that I can see is is that of forklift trucks. Um, recognizing when loads are, are, are picked up correctly, when they're placed into racking correctly, when there's interactions between pedestrians and the fork trucks, um, and things like that. I, I think in the in a logistics business, that would be a massive. Um, yeah. That would be a good transferable um, piece for the for the technology. I agree. Yeah. Uh, have you have you applied this yourselves, Esti, to any other industries and applications? Well, to to be honest, we are uh, working on two active proof of concept with two different industry. Um, I cannot share the name of the customers, but uh, we are working with uh, the insurance industry uh, more in the angle of providing additional risk indicators um, in real time that are more tailored to the job site. Because as my colleagues here mentioned before, a lot of uh, insurance is done on how many accidents you had in the past or was reported in the past, and less about how to decide, how, how does this job site um, behaves on a daily basis? Is he, sa is he have safe, you know, controlling the processes, working according to plan? So this is one of the POCs that we are doing right now with the insurance industry. And we actually have another POC with an oil and gas company around the logistic um, use case that Jason just mentioned. 
um, and I hope you'll be able I hope really Versata will be able to contribute to more industries, but we're truly passionate about construction and making that curve up. Um, yeah, great, uh, very promising. Um, any other comments and observations uh, anyone wants to make on? Yes, uh, Berju, go ahead. Esti, really interested by this because um, we actually provide, um, well, one of our our sister organizations provides um, vehicles uh, for hire within the construction industry. So be it forklifts, uh, vans, uh, and various other equipment. So I can definitely see an application for this. So um, if you could, or if you could drop me an email with your uh, details, and I think we've definitely got a potential to have a you know, uh, a partnership, or at least we'll have a chat offline and see if there's anything good that can be done. I would be more than happy Brilliant. writing your name. And you have also my email on uh, on the slide deck. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I'll share it. Please. Yeah, so this is my email on the bottom. Cool. That shared. Well, uh, make sure everyone connects up in any case that needs to oh, connect up. Good. Yeah. Okay. Any other uh, uh, any other comments or, or, or questions? Move on. You've got a busy background there, Esty. Yeah, over. I'm sorry. We're moving offices, Not at all. <laughs> and it was going right. to change my background, so. <laughs> I thought it was one of these one of these new types of teams backgrounds that's all animated. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that. I was really appreciated and a great great insight again. Another great example of, of technology being being deployed here um, and uh, for for you know for benefit for all, not just for for gathering more numbers, but you know I can see how this could be a learning tool as well by demonstrating as you say safe practice and safe behaviour uh, as, as well as unsafe. Good.